What's up? It's Matt from Mechabyte.com, and what I have here is actually the iOS 5 beta running on my iPod Touch 4th generation. So I just got this downloaded. I actually it just finished restoring, and I went ahead and it just started up. And you see, you get this cool little startup screen. And this is actually my first time exploring it. So if I seem a little slow, um, you know why. So this is it. It's a little like a language selection choice, and I'm gonna go ahead and select English, uh, country or region. Scroll down. See if you see United States. Uh, did I miss it? Oh, wait, no, it's down there. United States. Next. So this is a lot like, um, the Mac registration. Let me go ahead and enter this really quick. Alright. So we got that connected. Let's go ahead and click Next. Uh, use Wi-Fi. Why is it not working? Next. Alright, um, hmm. Restore from iTunes. Next. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and restore this, but I will go ahead and just pause the video and give you guys a little heads up when I come back. Alright, so I actually just got my iPod restored, and um, I was greeted with that cool iPod screen again, but then when I turned it on, I got this cool screen. So here's where you sign in with your Apple ID, and uh, the function of this is just to go ahead and make sure you get all that cool new iCloud stuff along with Game Center, iTunes. So really quick, I'm just going to move my iPod out of the camera and sign in with my Apple ID. So a cool thing I just noticed is actually that you see in the top left that little rotating thing uh, that's changed from that little scroll, like I can't even describe it. It's like a little spin wheel thing, and now it's actually that, and so it definitely looks a little bit cooler. So I hope this actually works. It is taking a while. Alright, so here's where you set up iCloud. And so, um, I actually didn't know they had enabled this yet. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But it says, set up iCloud, store contacts, calendars, photos, music, books, apps, and more in the cloud, and access them all on your devices. So it's pretty cool. This is actually the same animation that they used in the actual WWDC presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And merge with iCloud. Yes, merge. So you can also set up the Find My iPod Touch. And I, like, um, I know this is kind of unrelated, but I really like how they change all this user interface stuff in the setup. All the animations look really cool. Um, let's automatically send diagnostics. Help them out. So, your iPod Touch is now set up. You're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. So let's start using iPod Touch. Uh, no passcode, don't care. Um, looks like they actually changed the weather to the weather channel, I don't know. Oh, what it's doing is it's doing all my cloud applications. That's pretty cool. I did not expect that. So um, right now I'm just going to wait for Facebook to actually download. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enable notifications and then show you that. But uh, while this is going right here, I'm going to go ahead and open up messages. Check this out. Um, I know I don't have an iPhone. I like, uh, and I probably I could text one of my friends that has an iPhone right now. But uh, I feel like that would be a little bit counterproductive just because of the fact that it would take a while in, in the video. But I am going to go ahead and just try to get a quick look at the user interface. It should be pretty straightforward, but still. So right now it is verifying. Unable to contact the iMessages server. So I'm not not too disappointed by that. Um, I didn't expect it to be ready due to the fact that this OS isn't coming out until fall. But uh, all my stuff in the background is still downloading. Man. Okay, so let's look at the reminders. And uh, here you have the list and the date. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make one and see what it looks like. So say, upload video. So done. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I guess you can expand details and uh, reminders. That's pretty cool. Remind at day or location. That's a cool feature. Uh, show more. You can also set priority and also um, change the list that it's in. So let's look at newsstand. So it looks like you have to download the actual um, magazines and newspapers in the App Store. So uh, I'm not going to be able to do that right now because I still have so much stuff that's loading. Okay, so really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and actually sync my iPod just so it goes a little bit quicker. Alright everyone, so we're back from the second break. 
And actually what I just did is I went ahead and synced all my applications with my computer so I didn't have to go ahead and wait for all of them to download. So really quick, um, a cool thing that I noticed is that actually while you're syncing now, you can go ahead and use the iPod um, like in full while it's syncing. So all it'll do, it'll be like that uh, actual interface, all that like um, that interface that I showed earlier, just to say all these things like either downloading or installing. And actually, it's it's actually really cool. Um, I actually couldn't record it because I got it at the tail end. I went away to get something to eat, <laughs> and uh, I got back and it was almost done. So what I was looking at earlier was the messages, and um, came to the conclusion that I, that actually doesn't work. So really quick, I'm just gonna move on. And uh, the next cool thing is notifications. So I was looking through the settings, and actually, um, the cool thing is here. I'll go to the first one. Um, here's your default settings screen, all your stuff, and tap on notifications. And you you can sort everything by manually or time, and uh, you can actually edit these um, like position wise. And so I was looking at Twitter because I know um, they're really integrating Twitter a lot into iOS. And so um, this is pretty much like a default screen for uh, notifications. And here's where you turn it on or off, and it shows you shows you the recent items, also um, whether or not it shows in lock screen. So there's there's also how you can actually show it. Um, you can be none banners, you can also do the classic alert style. So whichever one you like the most. And um, you can also choose whether or not it has sounds, so I'll go ahead and enable that. Can you change that? No, I don't think so. And whether or not it shows the badge app icon. So uh, I have that enabled, but really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, the actual Android-like notification system. So all you do is you drag down from the top, and you see it's really slick, really, really good looking. And these are just um, the default the default things that Apple has installed um, when you actually get it. But uh, here it has stocks, and you can actually go through these, and it, I guess just swipe through all the stocks that you have. And here's also your weather. And of course, if you tap on that, it'll go ahead and open the weather application. But let's go back. Um, can you do it from the screen too? Okay. So it also has my latest emails and games for Windows. I don't know why I have that. Um, hmm, this is awkward. <laughs> so let's see. Age of Empires. Nope, don't care. Um, cool, cool stuff. Real quick, I actually have, I went ahead and made a quick Facebook account, a test one, and I'm going to go ahead and send myself a friend request and see how long it takes to have to show up. So I actually just sent the request, and I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but we will give it some time. And um, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and actually try to find that Twitter integration that they've been uh, touting so much in iOS, and that's actually right here. So here's where you actually go ahead and have all your stuff. I'm going to go and enter my username, and I'm going to pull that away. Sorry, I keep having to do that on you guys. I really hope that the notification for the Facebook doesn't come up while I'm doing this. So right now it's signing in. And it actually just added the Megabyte account. So there's all my stuff, and it just crashed. Let's go ahead and try to find that again. Megabyte. So you can configure tweet location. I don't really need that, so I'm going to leave that um, unchecked. And you can also delete the account. Uh, there's your full name, your username, all that cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find the camera. Or Actually, I'm going to go ahead and the lock screen. Sorry, I know this is really unorganized, guys, um, but this is my first time exploring it, too. I just wanted to get this video out. And um, another thing that I want to say, if there's anything you guys want to see that I actually didn't include in here, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, if uh, so I can see it. Just if you see if you see someone else that uh, actually commented on something that you want to see too, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button, and that way I'll go ahead and easily be able to see those. And then um, I'll give you a link in the description to like a post that I'll make, and that'll have updates on all the video things that you guys want to see. So pretty much, guys. Um, aside from that camera thing that doesn't seem to be working yet, uh, that looks to be just about as much as we have right now. So let's let's see. There's camera options. Turn on the grid. That's new. But um, really, just besides the main stuff like iCloud and um, all that, all that really cool stuff like messages that they're integrating, uh, there's actually just a, a lot of cool UI tweaks like you saw when I was um, actually going ahead in the like setup, and you got all those really cool animations. So that's it for now, guys. Um, if there's any other updates, I will leave them in that post that I'm leaving in the description. So it's the first link. And again, if you guys have anything else that you want to see, go ahead and leave a comment. And if there's uh, someone else that already left that comment, go ahead and thumb it up so that I see it. So if you like this video, you can go ahead and give it a like. It actually does help. Um, it helps people see my video. It comes up uh, higher up in search results. And if you actually are interested a lot in iOS 5, go ahead and subscribe because I actually am going to be keeping you guys updated as these betas roll out. This is the first beta. 
Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.